Welcome to my channel Travel be a unique traveling experience for you. Kulaba Fort, an unidentified things. Haven't you explored Kulaba Fort or have you explored already? If you have explored then have you recognized cannons in it? One of my friend recognized the cannons on this fort and then my search has been started. I am searching from more than one and half years I am very much interested to explore historical places and historical things. The Kulaba Fort sometimes called as Alibag Fort which is situated one kilometer away from Alibag main be in deep sea water, which is almost 35 kilometers from South Mumbai in Konkan region of Maharashtra, Slos, Own. The fort has been started to build by Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. Maratha King, in year 1680 and it has been completed by Chhatrapati Sambhaji Maharaj after death of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj in year 1681. The Peshwar Prime Minister of Swarajya, handed over several forts to Sakhil Kanhaji Angri under a treaty in year 1713. The Kanhaji Angri used it as fleet base from Naval Kingdom. He defeated Portuguese as well as Englishmen in sea wars. The Kanhaji Angre died in year 1729 on Kulaba Fort. The major wooden structures on Kulaba Fort was destroyed in huge fire by end of year 1787. The stonework on the fort is left till now. Source: Naval resistance to Britain's growing power in India by Philip MacDougall. There are two cannons located near south side wall of the fort. The names printed on those cannons are low more and Yorkshire suggests that it has been made in Yorkshire, England in British era. I extracted information from valid sources, so I came to know that those cannons made by low more co. The company formed by Heard, Gerard, Dawson and Hardy for mineral water utilization. They formed blast furnished in year 1790. The Lomor iron work was established in the village of Lomor in year 1791 which was raw iron foundry. The Lomor company has been exported raw iron product around the world from 1801 to 1957. The company has started to work in 1795 when company got contract to provide guns, shorts and shells to government. Those had been used in the war. At the beginning of 1800 British government sent all the weapons to India, Slos, Wikipedia. Welcome to my channel travel be a unique traveling experience.